Everyone knows when Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon in 1969, as well as the hard work of the numerous NASA physicists and engineers that made the Apollo 11 mission possible. But a surprisingly underappreciated aspect of NASA's success is its marketing. Without effective promotion, it's unlikely that anyone would have been interested in the defining scientific achievements of the 20th century. But since little is known about who headed NASA's marketing department at the time, it's down to director Greg Berlanti's Fly Me to the Moon to provide a fictional but no account of what might have happened behind the scenes at that moment in history. Set at the height of the 1960s space race, NASA is under pressure to launch its moon mission, but with public interest and funding at an all-time low, team leader Cole Davis, played by Channing Tatum, and his rocket scientists struggle with their mandate. Enter Kelly Jones, played by Scarlett Johansson, a talented marketing specialist brought on board by Woody Harrelson as shady government agent Mo Burkus to spotlight NASA and its astronauts. And soon Kelly's publicity campaign including advertising deals and her suggestion to put a video camera on the shuttle itself, brings the mission the attention it desperately needs. But complications arise when Burkus instructs Kelly to film a staged moon landing to be broadcast if the real one fails, for the purpose of showing up the Soviets. Fly Me to the Moon indulges in many popular myths surrounding Apollo 11, especially that one where the moon landing was faked, inviting viewers to take its account with a pinch of salt, as its goal is not to provide historical accuracy, but to use it as a whimsical backdrop for a charming callback to classic screwball comedies like Bringing Up Baby and His Girl Friday, both directed by Howard Hawks. This film, though, has mixed results. For Rose Gilroy's script certainly features witty dialogue and comical scenarios ripe for a heightened reality, and the comedic energy between Johansson and Tatum evokes the spot between Catherine Hepburn and Cary Grant, even though their chemistry doesn't always shine as brightly. However, the film struggles with maintaining a consistent screwball flow, suffering from tonal shifts and inconsistent character development that, at a longer than necessary runtime of just over two hours, comes with pacing issues that could have been resolved by cutting certain scenes and plot strands. To a point, Fly Me to the Moon knows what it wants to be, but it needed more editing or another script draft to achieve its goal, as there are glimpses of a crowd-pleasing screwball throwback that might satisfy most audiences just fine. But since it remains far from being the best version of itself, I'll give this movie a balanced three stars. Visit the Film Feeder website to read my more detailed review, but for now, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more reviews and I'll see you next time.